welcome back to another video so i'm going to be showing you how to make an airline dress very very easy to make so i'm going to start inserting my measurements okay first of all i folded my fabric with the largest part of my body plus five inch five inches extra allowance okay that is my the largest part of my body is 8.5 on the 8.5 i added extra 5 inches seam allowance or 4.5 inches seam allowance so right here on the shoulder line we are going to start from the shoulder line right here i'm going to mark my shoulder measurement divided by 2 7 inches on this point i'm going to go down by seven inches as well i'll just square this out on this point i'm going to mark my bust measurement my bust measurement divided by four is 8.5 i'll mark that i'll add half an inch for ease and then i'm going to mark one inch for seam allowance here I'm going to mark half an inch for shoulder slope. On this point I'm going to mark 3.5 inches for the neck width and 1 inch for the neck depth. This is the back. So I'll cut this shoulder slope. And then I'm going to cover the the armhole. On the shoulder line, I'm going to mark 16 inches downwards, which is my waistline. On this point, I'm going to mark my waist measurement divided by 4, which is 6.75. I'll add 1 inch for ease on this part and 1 inch for seam allowance. From this short waistline, I'm marking 8 inches downwards. On this point, I'm going to mark my hip measurement divided by 4, which is 8.5. I'll add 1 inch is right here. And then 1 inch seam allowance. I'm going to connect this to the waistline. And this to the armhole line and I'm going to mark the full length of this dress the full length of this dress I want to be at 38 inches there is my 38 inches and then I'll add one inch for hem allowance so with my straight tool I'm going to connect this hip measurement like this to the edge of this point okay And then I'm going to go ahead and cut out my pattern. So you see how the gown is shaped? See how it's shaped at the end? So this is what you want to achieve. If you want, you can also ignore the waistline. If you don't want yours to be shaped at the waist side of this, you can just ignore the waist and connect down to bust line so i'm going to go ahead and cut out the front of this so i placed the back panel on my fabric and i'm using it to cut out the pieces for the front panel so here 
I'm going to remove the back side and finish up with the front neckline. Right here, I'm going to mark 2.5 inches. So this is the neck or the front. I'm going to after cutting it, this is what I have. So here is the front panel. You can see the front neckline is low, is lower than the back. And here is the back neckline. So I'm going to set these two pieces aside and then I'm going to show you how to cut the sleeve for this dress so we are going to be cutting the sleeve and it's going to be a long sleeve this is the shoulder line okay and then i'm going to mark the full length the full length of my sleeve is 26 inches because it's a long sleeve so i'm going to mark 22 inches I'm going to use 4 inches for the length of the cuff. So this is 22 inches. I would have add half an inch that I'm going to use to connect the cuff and um, the main sleeve. So on this point, I'm going to mark my cap's height, 3.3. I already told you how to mark this, to calculate this. I'm going to mark it again. Then I would connect all the points together. Okay, I made this long sleeve because of this um, shirt. But because of people that are watching my video for the first time that have not watched this video, I am going to actually mark the sleeve again. Okay? Alright, so from the shoulder... From the shoulder line to my elbow is 14 inches. So I'll mark 14 inches right here. So here I'm going to mark my, my sleeve round 8 inches. And I'm just going to connect this point. And from this point, I'm just going to find a curve. On the shoulder line, I marked my armhole round, which is 8 inches. And then I added 1 inch to that measurement for seam allowance. On the elbow line, I'm going to mark my circumference, sleeve circumference, which is 11 inches divided by 2 is... 5.5 so i'll mark that right here and i'm going to add one inch as well for seam allowance my wrist measurement is seven inches divided by two is 3.5 so i'll mark 3.5 right here and i'll add one inch as well for seam allowance so what i'm going to do is to connect the points so And we can now go ahead and cut out the sleeve. So I laid this, I laid the first sleeve on this and I'm cutting out the second sleeve. So here are the two sleeves for the outfits this one here are the two sleeves so i'm going to cut out the cuff now so to cut the cuff i folded my fabric into two like i said the length of the cuff is going to be four inches but right here i'm marking 4.5 inches because i'm going to use 
half an inch to join the cuff and the main sleeve together okay so i'm marking 4.5 inches i'm going to mark 4.5 inches again and then connect the points into a straight line so for my sleeve circumference my sleeves i mean for the wrist the circumference of my wrist measurement is seven inches but right here i'm marking eight inches because i'm going to use one inch to turn out this to sew on each side half an inch on each side making one inch so after doing that i'm just going to cut this out so after cutting out this is what i have for the cuff so it's going to be folded in like this so i cut out i use that pattern to cut out another one for the second cuff and after that this is what i have so i have two cuff one for each sleeve so this is going to be going on the lower part of the sleeve like this so in my next video i'm going to show you how to make the cuff how to attach it to the sleeve okay and i'm also going to show you how to use full lining to turn out your a line dress all right so for that this is the end of this video and thank you so much for watching until i see you in my next video